Peace, family. So I was reading uh, Jeremiah chapter 5 and 6 as part of my scripture reading this morning. And wanted to share a few thoughts on it. First one, run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof if ye can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. This makes me think of the people who are celebrated in our culture today. They're not people seeking after truth. They're people who are speaking falsehoods. Uh, you know, like we, we spoke about yes, yesterday in yesterday's video, uh, their God is their belly. Um, they glory in their shame. America, America today. And a lot of places in the world, but definitely I think indicative of, of America and unfortunately how far we have fallen. Uh, moving on to chapter 3, and don't worry, there's uh, also good news coming after after this, uh, this prophetic word from Jeremiah. Verse 3, O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast con consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Yep. That's America. Celebrate that thing called pride uh, that they do in the summertime. <laughs> uh, they make their faces harder than a rock. They refuse to return. Uh, going on in verse 5. But the At the end of verse 5. But these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. I think of how Jesus said, take on my yoke, it is easy. Um, for I am gentle and meek and my burden is light. My yoke is easy. Uh, to paraphrase, these guys have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. That light, easy yoke of guidance and direction the Lord has given them in the scriptures, in the law, in the prophets, in the example of Jesus. Uh, they've broken it. And this is the people of Israel, uh, Jeremiah is writing to. But Ecclesiastes, there's nothing new under the sun. What has been shall be again. Here we are. That's why I say this is America. Verse 10, go ye up upon her walls and destroy, but make not a full end. Take away her battlements, for they are not the Lord's. <laughs> Our borders are just like a, like, a, um, like a strainer. They got holes in it. People are coming into this country. We're so infiltrated. Uh, we have no idea. Reminds me of America. Verse 15, Lo, I will bring a nation upon you from far, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. It is a mighty nation. It is an ancient nation. A nation whose language you don't know, neither understand what they say. Yeah, that's right. Enemies, whether it be Russia, China, uh, people from the Middle East coming here to corrupt this country. Amen. God's word is true. Jumping to... This, it's all in this chapter, guys. Verse 5 here still. In verse 23, But this people hath a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Oh my goodness. Uh, verse 25, Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. You might ask yourselves, What's happened to America? Why is this happening? Sin. The wages of sin is death. Uh, the law of sowing and reaping. God's word is true. Verse 31. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? Uh, the prophets prophesy falsely, and the people love it. They'd rather hear lies than the truth. Um, there's a lot of songs that talk about lies. Remember in the 80s, uh, there's a song called Tell Me Lies, Tell Me Sweet Little Lies think of that one and then there was one by i think that r&b singer from like the early mid 2000s neo called um lie to me you know it's just crazy gosh god's word is true guys uh chapter six. Oh, i don't know if i took any notes on uh, where america is here yeah verse 14 of six p um they have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there is no peace yeah, exactly. The White House, when they're talking out the side of their neck, they're saying, you know, things are fine, we're okay, it's not a problem, or 
the, the tragedy that happened in uh, East Palestine, Ohio, and they're saying, I mean, the president hasn't even visited the place yet. Everything is fine. And it's like, no, nothing's fine. Uh, verse 15, were they ashamed when they had committed abominations? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. That's right. No shame. You know, it's weird. Even in old movies of the past, when people were doing wrong, you know, there was like shame. Things were done in the dark. It wasn't like a boastful thing. Now it's like, you know, stuff is done in, in broad daylight, in the street, in the middle of this sunny day. Disgusting. Uh, verse 20, your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. You know, when a culture and a nation gets so depraved and sinful, it's like, um, you know, they, they try to do little religious acts and try to, you know, act like they're, they're some semblance of holy, but they aren't, you know, and their little efforts are, they're not acceptable. They're not sweet unto the Lord. It's hypocrisy. Uh... Yep, verse 28. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanders. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. So, this is America, obviously. I see it all over this, uh, Jeremiah 5 and 6. And I just wanted to mention it. But the good news is, guys, there's a lot of promises that God makes to his people to provide for them and encourage and help us during while we're in the midst of uh, an adulterous nation, you know, wickedness. If you jump to Psalm 121, verses 7 and 8. <clears throat> oh man, the whole psalm, but we'll just do 7 and 8 of Psalm 121. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. That's just what I wanted to end with, guys. Um where it's almost like uh, you know if you had oil nah that's not a good analogy if you had like a tea bag and hot water like mixed together you couldn't pull the hot water out of the tea you couldn't extract the tea from the hot water um it's like that's how we are in a culture but it's like the lord is able to preserve his people wherever we are whatever city we're in whatever state we're in whatever Whatever part of the country we're in, we're in, whatever industry or employer we work for, we might be around. There might be calamity. There might be judgment on uh, many people around us. And there is. You read Romans 1, starting at verse 18. It talks about uh, the abandonment wrath of God is here. It's not something that is coming uh, in the scripture as it speaks. It's like um, it is already here. And that's where we are. But the Lord preserves us. So guys, know that and believe that and understand that, that. You are precious to the Lord. You are part of the family. He is protecting us, and his word says so. So it doesn't, doesn't matter what we see or what we feel. I'll read uh, 121, verse 7 and 8 again. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Heavenly Father, I pray that this word, this reading from your word, the sobriety of uh, Jeremiah may um, snap us into action, make us more attentive to your word, and that your comforting words from Psalm 121 may bless us and, and encourage us that no matter what we see or feel or whatever creeps around us, we may know that your word is true and we walk by faith, not by sight. I love you guys. I hope this encouraged you. Thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel, share this video if you would. And God willing, I'll see you on the next video or I'll see you in glory. God bless you.